Well, the Eastern Nagaland Legislators Union and the Eastern Nagaland People's Organization, or the ENPO, has renewed the demand for the creation of Frontier Nagaland. Now, both the CSOs, after holding a key meeting in Kohima, stated that the ball is now in the centre's court. Well, this is indeed the big story we're tracking this evening. The Eastern Nagaland Legislators Union and the Eastern Nagaland People's Organization, the ENPO, has renewed the demand for the creation of Frontier Nagaland. Now, both the CSOs, after holding a key meeting in Kohima, stated that the ball is now in the centre's court. Eastern Nagaland People's Organization had a consultative meeting with the Eastern Nagaland Legislative Union. What is the stand of the ENLU? Do you support the demand, the resolution that has been adopted by the ENPO? As an ENPO member, I am the public servant of the ENPO area. It is a people movement. If people Eastern people demand that we also support it. Are saying that uh, this is a people's movement and the ENLU supports the pe uh, people's movement. However, uh, election, uh, if it is announced, will the ENLU abstain from participating? It is depend on the central government. Why? Because the Eastern Nagaland state demand problem already highlighted in the Nagaland Assembly, and also we have submitted to the central government since 2012 13 as of now no reply that is why the people uh, mob again it will be waiting for the reply of the uh, central government well enpo president sapiku sangtam also spoke to northeast live let's listen in we had a, just a consultative meeting only because we had a resolution to the sixth resolution we want to consult the, the elected member to be aware that's all so, so what, what was the stand, yeah, stand of the ENLU? No, they have, not, they have no say because uh, they are in the government and uh, they have to listen to the people. They okay. should. What made the uh, ENPO to take this uh, decision to, you know, not to participate? No, everybody knows that uh, there's been so long that we've been waiting for the decision to be given by the centre. Until no, nothing, no answer is there. That is why we have decided to take this drastic step. That's the thing. Well, Mr. Sangtam, you're saying that the uh, NLU have no say at the moment. They're in the government. They're in the government. And we don't have to force them. It is up to them. How do they do? They do. But then we have to tell them that this is the decision of the this, uh, grassroots level people. And uh, in, this, uh, EMPO has uh, every right to tell them or consult them that we have done this. And we are just, uh, since they belong to our EMPO people, since they are EMPO representative, we have uh, every right to consult them and tell them and inform them. And our paper is with the uh, uh, Home Minister, and we want that uh, our this, uh, request is addressed at the earliest. So uh, will the ANPO move forward to uh, communicate with the central government since they have not even responded to your October? It is up to us, I, it is up to them. Because if they don't respond, we will go with the resolution. Also. 